if if you it's a kind of like if you build it they will come but they just do it without the building they just say they will are we encouraging that or are we encouraging hard work we shouldn't be encouraging that Definitely but it feels like we're encouraging that how cuz i see people that just pop up into the scene and they're already respected by elites and you're like okay who is this person mm. and then they're one hit wonders they give you one thing and that is it and for them that goes to show you maybe that it wasn't really something they were ever serious about okay it was just for the Hello, okay hype. i, I understand i understand that yeah. I, that i understand which is I'm, a good thing i'm asking why are we encouraging that type of behavior why are we okay with giving love and credit to someone who was pushed to a place rather than look at the people who are in the middle working hard to get there because the people who are pushed are in, right in front of your face while the people who are hardly working you don't know about them i understand all that my question is this why do we allow it that was my question i'm not asking you to answer me yeah. as if you're one yeah. of them i'm asking I you the better question is how do we fix it rather than why do we allow it how do we fix it how do we you fix it by first not allowing it okay when you don't allow that kind of behavior to happen and you actually look for people who are passionate who are driven who really want to do something you fix that issue because you are promoting someone who's hard working i'll give you a good example uh i don't want to get her name wrong uh the graffiti artist nora saidan yeah mm-hmm. shout out nora saidan mm-hmm. okay no one can talk shit about nora saidan true because she put in the work not only that it's documented yeah you well, can see it over the past four or five progress. years yeah you can see from how she started and where she is right now. Mm-hmm. All of that can be seen right in front of you. Mm-hmm. A lot of people, I don't see shit. But I see them, hey, look, if they're getting pushed to the top, I, I don't care. It's none of my fucking business. They could be special. I just, I don't see how special they are. But when you approach me as if you are already special, then that's when I look like an asshole. Because I'm not going to ex- treat you as someone special. No, fuck you. Because I don't see you as special. Exactly. I don't see the hard work. I don't see the hunger. All I see is someone who wants to be called that thing or whatever the fuck it is. And he wants other people to call him that thing and to also believe in the lie. Well, that's the thing. I feel like those people kind of live in a bubble. And it's a bubble with a, with a self-reinforcing echo where they just keep hearing the same thing from the same people, in a sense. So if they kind of go out of their bubble into the real world, that's going to get burst real quick. I disagree with you. I fucking disagree with you. No, it's not about just living in a bubble. It's because it feeds their ego sometimes. True. Sometimes they, it's not because they hear it, it's because they believe it. They okay. believe that they made it. Oh, they want it. They crave it. Well, uh, the, the want and the crave, that's yeah. automatic. Everybody wants the end result before the fucking No, no, no. Work. It's not just the end result as much as it's look at me. 